Hello and welcome to Caffeinate Math. Mrs. Saunders here. So it's time to begin learning algebra. And this is one of my favorite math subjects. To me, it's like a big puzzle. I just fit the different pieces in, turn them around when I need to, and I get this awesome picture or answer at the end. It's beautiful. But before we just dive in and start solving the puzzle, we need to learn the vocabulary of algebra. It's kind of got its own language, but it's super easy to learn. This is episode one, and today we're talking about expressions. I don't mean facial expressions, I mean math expressions. An expression, it's a quick way of communicating information. Cultures around the world use expressions. Watch. Dobrý den. Bob the issue. Hadebra. Good morning. Now let's bring it closer to home. In the evenings, when I'm finished making a nutritious meal for my family, what I need to communicate is, dinner is ready, please come to the table. But what I really end up saying is, dinner! I just shorten it to one word, but my family understands. And mathematicians, we do the same thing. Instead of a long series of words, we just use shortcuts. For example, Instead of saying two quarters and three dimes and seven pennies, I could just use a shortcut like 2q plus 3d plus 7p. So an expression, it's just a communication shortcut, or you could think of it as a mathematical phrase. Of course, in math, these shortcuts or phrases, they don't use words like we're used to. Math phrases use terms. A term, it's like a math word. It can be a number, a letter, or a combination of the two. Watch. A term can be just a number, like 7, or 24, or 135. And those are easy, because they never change. A 7, it's always a 7. And because they never change, those are called constants. Now a term, it can be just a letter too, like A, or X, or whatever letter you'd like. But the value of these letters changes depending on the problem. We say they vary, so we call them variables. Now, there's no special name for the combination, but there is a special name for the number being multiplied by the variable. The numbers in this case are called coefficients. Okay, just one more definition. Operators. Operators are doctors who perform surgeries. Ha ha, okay, just kidding. In math, an operator is a symbol that shows what the terms are doing. You know these, right? Addition and subtraction. And you've probably seen this one. It's multiplication. But in algebra, that x can easily get confused with the variable x. So we don't use that to show multiplication anymore. Now we use a few other things, like just a dot. Or we shove things close together, like a times b or four times y. Or if something is close to a parenthesis, then it's multiplied, like a times b or x times four plus y. Division, that's less complicated. It's the good old division sign and the fraction, like here's a divided by b or eight divided by y. So that's it. Those are the operators. We've covered a lot of vocabulary today. Expressions terms, variables, constants, coefficients, and operators. I think that's enough for now, but stay tuned for episode two. And spoiler alert, that's a short one. See you next time.